Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about exponent laws, specifically the product of powers, quotient of powers, and power of a power exponent laws or properties. So let's go over the first one. Basically what this is saying, when they say a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to the a to the power of m plus n, what they're saying here is that when we multiply two exponents with the same base, we add the powers together. So for example, if we have 3 to the power 5 times 3 to the power 8, that's the same as 3 to the power of 5 plus 8, and that's the same as 3 to the power of 13, since 5 plus 8 is 13. Now similarly, we have quotient of powers. If we have a to the power m over a to the power n, then the answer is a to the power of m minus n. And so for instance, 3 to the power 8 over 3 to the power 5 is equal to 3 to the power of 8 minus 5, which is 3 cubed. And last but not least, for, uh, well, for today at least, uh, pow for power of a power, if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, then we multiply the powers, right? And it becomes a to the power of m times n. So for example, 3 to the power 5 to the power of 8 is 3 to the power of 5 times 8, or 3 to the power of 40. Uh, so it's important to be able to distinguish. I think a lot of people get the product of powers mixed up with power of a power. When we have power of a power, that's when we multiply. When we're multiplying and finding the product of two powers, that's when we add those exponents. Okay, so here we have an exercise of writing each of these as a single power. Let's start with 4 to the power 5 times 4 to the power 7. Well, that would fall into the, um, the, uh, the first rule here, the product of powers. So the answer here would be 4 to the power of 12, because we just add up 5 plus 7 to get 12. Over here, we have negative 2 to the power of 9, because again, we have two powers of the same base, so we just add up our exponents. And same thing here, a cubed times a squared is a to the power 5, since we just add up 3 and 2. Okay, now we have a couple power to a power. x to the power 5 to the power 6 means we multiply and get x to the power of 30. y to the power of 3 squared is equal to y to the power of 6, because again, we multiply those powers. Then we have x cubed over x squared. So in this case, we would subtract the powers. Now, 3 minus 2 is just 1. So the answer is x to the power 1, which is just x. Uh, then we have 8 to the power 8 over 8 to the power 6. So again, we just subtract the exponents to get 8 squared. And then last but not least, same thing. We have the same base. We need to subtract the exponents to get negative 10 to the power of 3. And there we go. All right. Well, good work, everyone. And I'll see you for the next one.